Alright guys, the next few minutes um, I'm going to train you on how to overcome some common objections that we hear on the phone. And I'm going to work off of the multi-script, um, the, you know, the older leads, because that's where you're going to hear more of your objections. The number one thing that I can tell you is to make sure that you are going very slowly in the beginning of your phone script. You do not want to sound like a telemarketer. Ring, ring. Hello. Um, yes, is this Park? Yeah, yeah, this is him. All right, Park, my name is Tracy Weatherly, and I'm the regional manager with the Mortgage Protection Center. And please, please forgive me um, if you've already taken care of this, but I am personally calling some families. Um, a while back, you sent in a form about wanting to get some protection, some mortgage protection, in case, God forbid, something happened to you and you passed away or you couldn't work due to a disability. And I don't show where anyone ever took care of you on this, and I just personally wanted to call and find out what happened. Do you remember the form? Oh, I, I, man, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't know that I remember any form. Um, can, can you tell me what the form looked like or what it was talking about? Okay, I sure can. So, so obviously nobody ever came to your home and showed you some mortgage protection programs. Oh, no, no. I, I don't think we've had anybody come to our house. No. Okay, well, again, I do apologize. Um, Park, what the form was, it was a letter after you closed on your home loan, it looks like, with American State Bank. Um, you would have received a letter in the mail from us um, letting you know that you could possibly qualify for our mortgage protection uh, program. And what that does is in the event that you or your wife passed away, it would give you the ability to pay off the home. Okay. Or in the event that, God forbid, you became disabled and couldn't work for a while, it would make the house payments uh, for you for up to two years. Now, does that ring a bell at all for you? Well, you know, come to think of it, that's something we, um, I know we talked about that. It's been a while back, and, uh, you know, after hearing you say what you did, I, I think it may be something that, you know, how much does it cost? Okay. Well, let me tell you, on the form here, you did answer some questions and gave us some personal information. So let me ask you just a couple of quick questions, and let's see if there's anything I can do for you. Um, says here that you don't smoke. So anyway, that's that objection one. You just I just rolled right over it, acknowledged this question and then move to ask him questions, so I'm always going to be in control. Um, anytime they ask you a question, you ask them a question back, put you right back in the driver's seat. Okay, um, so let's do it again, um, and let's go with a different objection. Ring, ring. Hello. Yes, is this Park? Uh, yeah, sure is. Park, my name is Tracy Weatherly, and I'm the regional manager with the Mortgage Protection Group. And I apologize, but I have had a lot of families in the Lubbock area that I am finding have not been handled properly. Park, a while back, you and your wife filled out a form and sent it in to us wanting to look at getting some mortgage protection coverage on your home loan with Wells Fargo Bank. Now, I don't show where we ever got y'all taken care of. Do you Do you remember the form? Did any of my agents ever get with you guys on this? Yeah, I remember quite well. Um, matter of fact, we had had a guy come out, um, gosh, pretty quick after we sent that form in. And, um, man, the, we just couldn't afford it. Okay. I mean, at all. I mean, it was... I mean, I don't remember the premiums, but it seems like it's $300 a month or something. Wow, okay. Well, I apologize. Again, I'm just finding that a lot of families have not been handled properly um, in the past, and I'm just trying to personally step in um, and help them get what they were looking for. And I will assure you that we should have been able to put some type of program in place that was affordable for your family. Let me ask you a couple of quick questions and see if there might be anything that I can do for you, okay? I'm going to go into my questions, and I'm going to roll right down through the script. Um, next. You got one? Mm -hmm. Ring, ring. Hello. Yes, is this Park? Speaking. 
Park, my name is Tracy Weatherly, and I'm the regional manager with the Mortgage Protection Group. And listen, I am calling to apologize, but I show that you had sent a form in after you closed on your home loan with Wells Fargo Bank about wanting to get some mortgage protection coverage in the event of a death or disability. And now, I've had a lot of families that I have discovered were not handled properly, and I don't show that we ever got you taken care of. Do you remember the form that I'm referring to? Yeah, uh, I do. And I, let me ask you, I'm at work right now. I mean, is there a better time? Could okay. you call me back tonight? Well, or? I'll just be real quick, real quick. Um, if something did happen to you, Park, what would that look like for your family? Uh, well, just think about it. I mean, it wouldn't be pretty. Would okay. not be pretty, no. Okay. Well, just a couple of real quick questions. Um, says here that you don't smoke. Is that correct? Uh, I, no, I don't smoke. Huh? Okay. So I'm just going to roll right into it. I'm going to get the why a little bit quicker than the script because if I get the emotion from him, then he's going to listen to me a little bit longer. That's a tough one. If they really are busy, they'll come back and they'll object again, maybe even for the third time. And then sometimes I just go straight for the appointment. And, of course, sometimes then... I may have to call them back, or um, I usually try to schedule an appointed time to call them back. Okay? Um, let's go down when into the script when I'm setting the appointment and maybe object on some times. Okay? Do we need to start another video? No. Okay. Okay, so I've got um, Park on the phone. We have gone through all of the medical questions, and I am going into the, okay, I can help you with that. Let me tell you what the first step is. Park, the first step is for us to design a plan for your family that meets your needs. And second of all, we want to make sure that it's something that's very affordable and fits your budget comfortably. And third, um, last, all we can do is apply for it, um, and hope for, the, for your approval. And I'll tell you, we'll fill out an application. It takes about three to six weeks to find out if you're going to be approved or not. Um, now, again, I'm the regional manager over Lubbock, and I am going to be in your neighborhood tomorrow and Saturday, and I will have about 20 minutes that I can stop by and um, help you and your wife you know, find a program that is gonna, that's going to fit your needs. Which one of those two days is going to work better for you? I, I don't think either, you know, uh, I don't think either day is going to work for us. We're, we're really, really busy. Uh, I've got family coming into town. I mean, it's just okay. Just probably not a good weekend. Okay. What kind of schedule do you typically, work schedule do you have? Oh, I go in at 7. I'm usually off by 5. My wife, uh, she's usually off by 6. Um, okay. But, you know, she's kind of on call this weekend. It's just not real, you know, probably not a good time. Right. I understand. Mark, let me... Um, tell you I have about 20 families every week that that I try to get um, taken care of and get you what you're looking for and I am only going to be there on those two days now I do have you said she gets off at 6 o'clock I have a 615 and I have a 645 available which one of those would work for you guys how long did you say this would take I'm only gonna have about 20 minutes and so 615 you know, she'll be home at 6, and if we could do, uh, you know, 6.30, that that work with you? or? Okay. Well, yeah, I've got a 6.15 and a 6.45. So would you rather do the 6.45 just to make yeah, sure that she's there? Yeah. And we won't have a whole lot of time, but 6.45 should work. Okay. Now, like I said, I've got a lot of families that I'm going to be seeing um, while I'm there, but I want to make sure that we get you guys covered um, like you've requested. And so if you will just let her know that I'm going to be there at 645, I'll literally be in and out, get you guys taken care of, okay? Yep, I think that's something we can do. So when they tell me it's not a good weekend, I just continue to go past that. The only time is if they're flat going to be out of town, but I'm still going to push and ask when they're leaving, when they're coming back, where they're going, and I'm going to try to, um, to find a time that's going to work. A lot of times that's just an excuse. It's just an easy out. So um, push a little bit and see if you can't still get in there. Okay. Objections over.